so many awesome milestones. Your first crush, your first kiss, your first Kennedy, and of course, the first time that you forgo traditional Halloween costumes for something a little more current eventy. Who are you? U.S. Attorney General Janet Reno. Oh. Why? Well, because she's a role model for young girls everywhere. Uh, that is so wrong. Cheryl, this is a role model. Ginger Spice. Independent, free, unemployed. Ooh, that's probably Daddy calling from the plane. Hello? Hello, who is this? Um, who are you trying to reach? I don't know. I think you have the wrong number. Do I? Creepo? Hello? I must have dialed the wrong number again. Oh, goodbye. Wait, wait. Don't hang up. What's your name? Um... I don't have one. My parents were hippies. You look like a clean-shaven Janet Reno to me. I mean, you sound like... Creep can see us. Hit the floor. It's Murray. He's trying to scare us. It's working. Why? His sick idea of fun. Every Halloween, he pulls an infantile prank like this. I don't know what didn't sound like him, Dee. Oh, Cher. It was a direct rip from Scream. Reason 98 why I broke up with adult. Cute, good kisser, way unoriginal. Hello? What's your name? Nasty. Oh, I like that. What are you wearing, Nasty? Aren't you more interested in what I'm not wearing? What? Sorry, but right, the last episode of Seinfeld was really funny. Guys, Murray, please. 
The bus builder 98 built exclusively for Cher Horowitz? Murray, go! This nasty knot when I fell out of the tree. Do it, Sean. See you with the go out. Don't get out. Hold it, hold it. Look, I need your help. I'm in charge of the senior charity fundraiser, and I want this thing to be huge. I'm thinking Halloween Haunted Mansion. Murray, Halloween is this Saturday. So? I've already found a location, the Bob Saget Mansion. Wow, Bob's donating his place? <laughs> Actually, it's abandoned. Ouch, how the mighty have fallen. Murray, you've got four days. It takes the industrial light and magic guys weeks just to set up this place. Weeks? Well, maybe I can do something. Daddy's out of town this Halloween, so I'll see if we can use his old crew. Oh, please, please, look, I'm down on my knees and I'm, I'm begging you, please. Look, I need this. I need it so bad. Hmm, where have I heard that phrase before? <laughs> <laughs> you set yourself up for that one. Uh, get your hand off me. Chef, Chef, I'm out of here. What happened? It's that punk Murray. I've been in this business too long to be taking orders from some hackneyed rich kid. Oh, he's really not that rich. His parents are living so beyond their means. In fact, I heard he squelch. Just trying to be helpful. Look, come on, we'll go find Murray. I'm sure we can fix this. And if not, we can use him as a corpse. Oh, <laughs> good one. Um, you're kidding, right? Oh, I like. Oh, yeah. His Manson-esque qualities are very appealing, aren't they? Plus, he'd kill two birds with one stone. I'm sure he has. See, I'm putting together a list of all the types I'd like to date before marrying my aging trophy husband. And Jason would qualify as both number 23, a convicted felon, and number 67, a laborer. Now, see, I'd have to agree with you with 67. Cher and I have always been attracted to men who know how to work with their hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just want to be a werewolf. Listen, okay? You're a cheerleader, and a football player's head explodes splattering you with blood, okay? Nuh-uh. It's stain. Oh, all right. It's not real blood. See, it's colored corn syrup. I don't care. I still want to be a werewolf. Look, I told you. Listen, chicks can't realistically metamorphosize into terrifying beasts. Well, actually, they can. But a werewolf, no. Uh-huh. Sean, note her insubordination. Noted. Ah! <laughs> Terrifying enough. Airbus. Ah! Sean, please. Okay, oh, Patty, Patty, Patty. Come on, no, come on, ease up. It's okay. No one's gonna hurt you. The evil moon went bye-bye. Bye-bye? Bye-bye. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wow. Now playing the title role in the Shannon Doherty story. Ooh, man, she wrinkled my new shirt. Ah, Jason. Just the man I was looking for. Listen, man. Dress rehearsals tomorrow night, and we still need some rancid body parts to hang from the gates of hell. Let's just use yours. Um, Murray, Jason's having a little trouble executing your vision. Really? How so? You're a hack. 
This has all been done. Excuse me? The bloody house of smelly death has been done before? To death? You don't need a special effects team, you need a butcher. Oh, I happen to know that blood sells, okay? The bigger the body count, the bigger the box office. Uh, Murr, I think what Jason is trying to say is that we're here to entertain people, not send them to therapy. Sean, when I want your opinion, I'll give it to you. Now, there's nothing wrong with the little blood. Everyone loves to have the crap scared out of them. <laughs> See, I love that. Uh-huh. Treat it. <laughs> Two long days and scary nights later, and the house of smelly death is about to be open for business. Luckily, Murray and the cute, scary Jason have put aside their differences to make this nightmare a reality. And vice versa. Oh, I swear to God, if I get head lice from this LaToya wig, I am going to own Bronson Alcott. Good. Then you can give my underpaid overworked butt a raise. Coach Jim, are you here for the dress rehearsal? Like I give a rat's red rump whether this haunted hut works or not. But administration says you twits need a faculty advisor. Okay, is anybody here in position of drugs, alcohol, or cigarettes? Absolutely not. Okay, I'm off to Trashy Lingerie, seeing if they'll take back an Anna Nicole Wonder Puff that I clearly have no use for now. Come on, Red, you're driving. Uh, what? <laughs> Suspended license. It involves a police officer and a misunderstanding about whose face is on a 20. Don't ask. Are you looking good, Coach Deemer? Dream about it. <laughs> All right, everybody. Listen up! Listen up! Oh, yippee! It's the Baldwin brothers. This room is called the Chamber of Choice. The Chamber of Choice. Guests have to decide whether to choose between you vixens and the lovely Linda. The lovely Linda. Not much of a conundrum. <laughs> damn the damsel. <laughs> I'd let my own mother fry to follow the fair share. Marshall, you're looking too good. Okay, yeah. Listen, Sean, see if you could get a rotted nose that we could glue onto Marshall's face. We need a rotted nose, Station 5, stat. I'd advise against that. My mucous membranes would react violently to the prosthetic cement. Giant hawk up buckets. Uh, strike the nose. Okay. Well, if the guest decides to think and choose you sirens. Please, lead him through this door. Come on, girls. Ladies. Ladies. Hurry up, y'all. I'm gonna show you this. <laughs> I know. We all know to do this. It's great. Are you ready to see this? You're gonna love this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Now, if the guest decides to save the lovely Linda. Save me, please! Well, when he lifts this beam off her back. Save me, please! <laughs> Where Lights out for Linda! I love that! Do you love it? Because I love it! I love it! I love it! Wait. Hey, Jason! Yo! Hey, man, where's the blood, man? We need a geyser from her neck when, when, when the head rolls. Where's the blood? And, and, and why isn't she twitching? She should be twitching. She's dead, right? She should be twitching, right? That's it, I quit. Oh, fine. Do us a favor and go. First of all, it's not a twitch. Right. It's a death spasm. Death spasm. And if I ever run into you again, I'll be happy to show you the difference. And you'll be the one twitching, pal. What? I said, I need a wishing well. Wishing well, Station 5. Ah, oh, we're better off without him. Hey, Marshall. Marshall, do you think you could get this mannequin to twitch? I'll see if I can find an electrical source. 
Marie, we can't set this thing up by ourselves. Oh, ye of little faith, trust me. The Mur knows what he's doing. Do you think you could go outside? Talk to Jason? Yes. Do this, do that. I'm always a flunky. I hate this. For the last time, it is not funny. Hey, listen, all right? It wasn't me. It's probably Marshall fooling around with the electricity or something. Right. trust anyone with more than three tattoos. Maybe it was Coach Deemer. She seems to really have issues with men. Of course there's Amber. She's a well-documented psycho. I guess everyone's a suspect. Even Sean. Does his sweet disposition mask a darker side? Oh, let's not forget about Murray. Did he get bored with fake blood? Oh, does he have a need for some of the real stuff? And Daddy, this is the first Halloween he's missed. Or did he? We can't leave out Marshall. Could this have been a suicide? Was he a victim of unrequited love pour moi? Actually, the one I'm really worried about is the evil cheerleader, Patty. Is that werewolf thing just an act? And though I dare not say it, there's always Dion. I know she's my best best, but she does have a temper. Excuse me, Nancy Drew. It could be you. Uh oh. -uh. So you're still not sure who murdered Marshall? Don't tell anybody, but here's a few hints from the shocking conclusion. There's a crazed killer on the loose. Hold it. She's crazed. She's loose. She's your man. Shoot now, ask questions later. John? Murray? Moesha? What? It could be a crossover episode. Who's Murray? Not your man, not a murderer. Where is he? In the killing closet. This is just how it happened in Grave Robber 3. See, the detective, he goes out the front door, right? And then Stitches comes around back and mows everybody down using his razor-sharp shovel. That's not good. 